If you've been in sales for any length of time, you've probably heard a prospect say to you, after you've given a presentation or a demo, just send me the proposal. That was great. Don't do it. And I'll tell you why. And I've been through a lot of demos, a lot of presentations, and here's why you don't want to do that. Many times, prospects are appreciative of the time and effort you put into the demo, but they don't want to hurt your feelings, say, no, they're not interested. Most people don't go to work looking for any kind of conflict, or maybe they're not really sure, or they just kind of want to blow you off. You never know. So the way you alleviate that is by asking this question and, and saying this to them. Well, I, I appreciate that you found value in the product. That makes, me that makes me feel great. And so it's gonna take a little while for me to put this together, but I will get it for you uh, ASAP. Uh, but first, can we go ahead and put a time and date on the calendar where we can review this together? Now, this is really important because you wanna find out if they really are interested or they're just kind of stalling and putting you off. And this is one way to do it. Now they're gonna probably respond with one or two ways. They'll say, if they're a good prospect and qualified well and they are interested, they'll get out their calendar and you'll set up a day to go over it with them. If they're not, they'll push back and say something along the lines, no, just, just send it to me and you know, if I have questions, I'll give you a call. What you say then is, I, I appreciate, I, I really do appreciate that, but I can't do that. And, and here's the reason why. And those words are very important because people uh, don't mind you pushing back, but they need to know the reason why you're doing it. So you'll say, I can't do that, and here's the reason why. I found that after doing hundreds of these presentations, so many people who say they're gonna get back are just being polite and, and they don't wanna hurt my feelings. But the ones who do say, okay, I'll schedule a time with you, are the real serious ones, and they become really happy customers and find a lot of value in the product. So that's why I need to get a date on the calendar before I go ahead and, and send it to you. And it takes me some time to put it together. I wanna to make sure this is exactly what you're gonna to need to succeed. When you phrase things that way, you not only give them the reason why you're pushing back, you show yourself as a professional and you'll get more sales and you won't waste your time putting together proposals for people who aren't going to buy. I hope this helps you. I hope you like this video, and if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really helps and inspires me to make more of them. Thanks.